Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Star of Wisdom. Hey, sir. And we are here with episode two of the Black and White Nuzlocke, where I finally get to get out of the starting town. Excited and... to see what your encounters are. Yeah, various encounters. Asa gets Hopefully to continue something good. trouncing me. <laughs> Oops. It's fine, Sorry. I've got plenty of time to catch up. All right, well, I'm going to beat the gym here really quick. <laughs> Great. So I can move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. I guess we should mention that uh, we are recording this right after the first episode. So any comments that you left for suggestions on the first episode were disregarded. Exactly. We don't care. <laughs> ah, finally, I get the running shoes. I can actually move. I'm so ready to get another encounter. I like Excelgur, but I just need something else. I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable if I have another Pokemon. This is a cool gym, but a bad restaurant. I wouldn't want to go to this restaurant ever. Challenged by Waiter Maxwell. Oh, on the nest ball. All right, this is actually a different route, right? So you found a nest ball and I found a cherished ball. <laughs> yep. Okay, this is route two. All right, what can I catch on route two? Please be something very, very good, but also still catchable. <laughs> it's a swallow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the OG Garbador. Oh, swallow, you, you poor pillar of. Oh, I just crit it, but it, it barely survived. Oh, Swalot. You know, Swalot can be good. It looks like a gumdrop. Oh, uh, yeah. It can it be pretty bulky also. So that might be that might actually be good. Ooh, Waitress Tia sent out Lugia. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know cool. how I'm going to be able to deal with those things. Well, you probably won't get Lugia. That'll help. What is this, Bo? A psychic flying? Yes. Why does that make sense? Should have been water. Know. Yeah, it should be my water. argument from a stun spore. That's annoying. Uh, Gumdrop has damp as its ability. And it's minus speed. Oh, don't do that. It has fire Stop. punch, though. In future sight. Oh, don't use Damn, that again. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're okay. What else could I have caught on this route? Oh, I could have had a Gallade. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I didn't want it. Okay, that was close. I almost just... Nope. These controls are going to kill me. <laughs> I almost just <laughs> had X and fight again when it would have died for sure. Jeez, Excelsior right. is vicious. Old man, finish the job. Wait, ghost type is not effective against dark. Or it shouldn't even affect it at all, right? Uh, no. Go ghost hits dark. It's just not very effective. Hmm. Well, my youngster Jimmy has a cloister, which I appreciate because I don't think I could deal with a pressure rom right now. All right, Lugia is down. Old man is on the ground. How are you just dealing with these legendaries? <laughs> Whoa, Typhlosion. Ooh. Um. I don't really have any for that. So head charge. <laughs> Everything's like a one-hit KO unless it's a legendary, <laughs> in which case it takes a few hits. <laughs> oh oh man. boy, they're not gonna obey me anymore. I forget where the first cutoff is. It's gotta be like oh. level twenty. I wish I had my Zubat. I could thunderbolt this Firo. It would be so satisfying. Yeah, I should equip my running shoes probably. I gotta rock slide it. Wait, how do I use Fear. running shoes at this point? Huh? Are they just activated? 
Yeah, it's just a button that you press. Oh, okay. I found it. Okay, so apparently we lost audio for a few seconds or minutes. I'm not sure. That was... It was, was a couple seconds. Weird. Okay, yeah, Asa caught it really fast, so that was good. Um, hopefully not too much of an interruption. All right, continuing through Route 1. It's time for it to Clyde, the gym leader. Oh, here's this guy who has a lily pup. I forget what his name is, but... I'm chilly. I'm a water type specialist. <laughs> Doesn't say her name. <laughs> I don't know their name. My name is Cress. Like a water Cress salad. Yeah, I think that is the thought there. Yeah. So I, I, I fight all three of them. Imagine if they did that for the randomizer. All right, let's pick up these items. Power anklet. If I want to raise my attack. All right, With Cress. Charcoal. That could also be good. I'm challenged by Leader Cress. Perugly. Do I have to fight Bianca? <laughs> okay, I think I can deal with Pampor. Unless you cop the Zekrom. That'd be. <laughs> Wait, is it actually like? No, it's it just rant. Oh, God, I got a wob effect. Oh wait, well, but wob effect won't bad. necessarily have um, destiny bond or anything like that. So never mind. We don't have to worry about this too much. Usually, wob effect is terrifying because it can like use mirror coat and destiny bond and stuff to just wipe you out. But okay. I don't random know. moves don't even have to worry. All right. Lava Fett is down, and there's the pan pour. Let's keep it. I get so much experience. Why do I? Why am I getting so much experience? <laughs> Probably. I mean, if you're fighting fully evolved Pokemon, it's oh it's maybe give you a whole ton more than you would usually be getting. So that is the advantage of going up against stronger Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Cool. What did I use? Judgment. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, give me this random Dream Yard Pokemon. Oh, Astonish is definitely going to flinch me. It's time to put in Old Man. Probably be training up Gumdrop a little bit. Get the charcoal. Uh, let's just go with a head charge. Good old head charge. Never hurt anybody. Except for all parties. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the evolved Pokemon because that bag and gave me like 100 experience points. Please take this hatch. Okay, so I think people that give you items still give you the normal item. Like, that isn't randomized. Because I just Which talked to a guy who... Find? I talked to a guy who gave me a Dusk Ball. And he normally gives you a Dusk Ball. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> uh, the dissonance between text and what actually happens is good. I, <laughs> the gym leader just gave me Spatial Rend. The T oh god. <laughs> oh gosh! What said, PM for spatial rend? Yeah, and he said, this contains work up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm gonna teach it to my Ms. Magius. I mean, it's not guaranteed that it can learn it, but if it can... That's not usually a, a TM that you can have, right? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. I got cut. <gasps> Gumdrop wants to learn Fusion Flare! Is that restaurant move? Yeah! Nice. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, well, if I want to make it into a 
special attacker instead of a physical attacker. I'm just going to lose Scratch for now. All right, Gumdrop. Yeah, the, there we go. Gumdrop with the charcoal. We're going to burn everything to the ground. I would like to rest my Pokemon. Thanks for asking. All right, which one of these poor souls is going to have to know cut? <laughs> I'm going for the fusion flare. Burn the Baldor to the ground! It did nothing. <laughs> it usually tears a turret along, the sp along with the space around it. <laughs> <laughs> None of them are going to be able... Nobody's going to know. That sucks. Oh, well. I don't think any Pokemon ever will know, will be able to learn Spatial Rend. <laughs> they might be able to. Because, again, TM compatibility is randomized. Yeah. So... Yep. It's very possible. Uh, oh, really? That's kind of cool. I'm going to learn. I'm going to forget Hex. I don't think I'm ever going <laughs> to use that. Yeah, it's only really good if you can set up a status condition first. Yeah. Nice. Gumdrop's leveling up. Good, good. All, All right. right here. This tree looks like I've been cut down. Oh, it's Youngster Joey. He's got a sh Nice, I can fusion flare it. What? I cut down tree and Bianca reaps the rewards by going in first. I actually want to see... Okay, my attack stat is only slightly higher than my special attack. So, yes, fusion flare it is. Wow, wee, it's a little pink pig. Golbash, oh gosh. That's a powerful attack. Wait, is that an attack or does it only raise defense? I can't actually remember. Fusion Flare! Destroy the Shuckle! Oh no, okay, it's a two turn attack. First it raises defense and then attacks. I'm, I actually like this Swallow right now. It's, it's tanking attacks well. And the fact that it got... Oh, it has Hydro Cannon. Okay. Don't, don't do that. Mana. Okay. Oh, I forget. Do you actually get to f encounter the mother? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm fighting Team Plasma now. Right, okay. Ooh, Ryolu. Wait, will the Team Plasma Pokemon always be randomized, or will they like follow a theme? Like, they should be randomized. Okay. Dang, all this extra XP is really good because Gumdrop is already caught up. Whoa! Wanna... What is that move? All right, let's finish off. Oh wait, I can just rock slide, right? So, you know, what, let's switch into the Lester. Fracture. All right, it's a ghost. This Ryolo has kind of coordinated moves, or a. Uh, um, Kind of synergistic moves. It has acid armor and acid spray. <laughs> Very interesting. Yay, we defeated Youngster Joey. Now do I get my gift Pokemon? Yes. Give me something good. Zubat, really? Then Mianxiao could be a big help. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mianxiao. Interesting. That's a weird Pokemon. It is. Um, what do I name a Mianxiao that's dessert and sugar themed? Kind of looks like, um, ooh, this Team Plasma Grunt has a Regirock. <laughs> uh, kind of looks like some kind of noodle. Is there any desserts that incorporate noodle. noodles? Dessert noodle. <laughs> um, or uh, what's that almond paste kind of thing? 
Marzipan? Yeah. That's a decent Kind of the name. same color. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I'll name it Marzipan. Good name. It's also a good name for, like, a cat-looking thing. Sure. All right, fighting type. That's cool, I guess. Welcome to the team, Marzipan. What, what are you... What's your thing? What can you do? Whoa, Ooh, anger point. Oh, <gasps> it's got luster purge. What's that? That's uh, Latios and Latios' signature move. It's a physical uh, attacker, so luster purge isn't as great, but... Interesting. Okay. Well, Marzipan. An anger point um, maxes your attack after taking a critical hit. So if I get crit, I can just wipe things out. Nice. Which is very... If I, I guess if I get crit and survive. That's the key word there. All right. Well, now I'm debating, should I train more or should I just fight the gym? I guess I can just go fight the janitors and see how it stacks up. So I've got two level 10s and a level 15, which is probably enough to deal with it right now. I think, maybe. All right, let's get this encounter. I found a cherry berry. That's <laughs> kind of boring. <laughs> oh, right, this is just the trainer's. Oh, yeah, you have to go to the trainer's school, though. All right, yes, I'm going to fight you, Charon. All right, what patch of grass here do I feel most? Well, I guess it's that one. Oh, that's cool. What is it? It's a Raikou. Ooh! Do you have um, enough Pokeballs is the question. Well, I don't have a Cherish Ball. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know if it's a guaranteed catch, so I would try lowering its health a little bit first. Yeah, I have a poke. I have a, I have Lester, which is kind of close to. Oh crap! No! Oh, the Pokeball rolled three times. Dang. It has Giga Impact. <laughs> Did, did you use the Cherish Ball or a regular Pokeball? No, a regular Pokeball. Okay. So it was like really close on the first. Dang. Alright, I'll send in Lesnar. Gosh, if you get a Raikou too, that'll be amazing. It's just cool to run into. Why are they yeah. so common? <laughs> it's like, what's up? What is going on? Frustration probably won't do any damage. Oh, well. Anyway. Giga Impact's cool, but it also has Bubble Beam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Frustration kind of did a lot. I don't think Ms. Mary just likes me as much as that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it also has Anger Point, though, so that's scary. If it uses Giga Impact again. Oh, yeah. Wait, Giga Impact can't hit your Ms. Magius, though. Oh, okay, cool, right. Your ghost type. Yeah, I'm in a so perfect you're... position. Then. Yeah, you're safe. It's Bubble Beam, though. Boy, is that gonna <laughs> hurt. It won't, right? Because it's a special. Whatever. Yeah, Bubble Beam is special. God dang it. I don't want to kill this thing, but I think any other move will probably do it. Can I use Wish? That doesn't do anything. Wish heals you the turn after. It won't heal. Yeah, it just doesn't do any damage. I don't want to hurt it. Why did it get so close on the first Pokeball? <laughs> it, and then it's not rolling anymore. God, that's really... That's really, um... I suppose frustrating would be the word I'd use. What do you have its health at? It's like halfway down, so if I use Frustration okay. again, it'll kill it. And yeah. Psy Beam, I think, or Psy Strike, I think, is gonna probably kill too. Yeah, I wouldn't risk it. So I'm just gonna use all my... All my Pokeballs. Well, on you it. should you should throw that if you think that it's at a chance that you could catch it. You should test the Cherish Ball first. Oh well, too late. That's fine. Because no we harm, don't know no foul. If I don't catch if it, it even if yeah. I use my Cherish Ball, if it's it, see, the thing is a Cherish Ball, if it's not like a Master Ball, it's kind of worthless. So yeah, yeah. So which is why you should throw it first because yeah, I already used all my Pokeballs though. Oh, okay. 
Oh, this might be a master roll. No, you gotta oh, be kidding me. It rolled three it times. Out. Shoot. Oh, I really wanted a Raikou and a Cherish Ball. That would have been really cool, yeah. Oh well. Wasted encounter. Dang. I'm gonna use frustration, it seems fitting. <laughs> <laughs> if this leaves it at like one hit point. Oh crap, it left it like with a little bit of health left. Dang. How was I supposed to know that it was gonna use it was gonna do half as much damage as it did the first time? Yeah. Darn, yeah, Raikou would have been really cool. Oh well. At least I can okay. come here whenever I want to fight a Raikou. <laughs> okay. Nice, Marzipan is getting good levels here from these gym trainers. Ooh, soft boiled. Yes, that's a that's a decent attack. And mm, landing in mind. a restaurant. It's pretty cool. What is a soft boiled egg? Soft? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you put an it's where you put an egg in a pot of boiling water for like like two seconds. Like it doesn't do anything. It just heats up the outside very <laughs> very slightly. Okay, yeah, I should be totally able to fight the gym. I think my Pokemon can take it. Let's I just go. wanted a Raikou. Yeah. I was gonna name it something for sure don't, don't forget to buy more pokeballs next time you're before yeah. you go to the next route yeah i should do that yeah i i can't have any more cat counters here of course so i found the black glasses <laughs> i was really hoping it rolled three times so yeah I was really hoping that was gonna be a guaranteed Thanks. catch or whatever yeah oh well Okay. Fighting the gym leader. Cherish balls do have cool, um, like, poke Pokeball explosion yeah. effects. Yeah. Yep, they do. Oops, no. Alright, I'm gonna fight Chili. Doesn't really matter because your Pokemon are all random, but here we go. I'm gonna buy he says he's balls. the strongest. Do we believe that? All right, Chili. He's, his first Pokemon was a Baneri, so not too worried here. Um, it never makes sense to buy Pokeballs, right? In this, to buy Pokeballs, or uh, like Great Balls are better. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, if, if you can buy Great Balls, then yeah. Yeah, I have a ton of money, so... This Baneri oh. had Acrobatics, it almost killed my Mars. Or it didn't almost kill, but it did 34 damage to me. Oh. <laughs> so, that was a little scary. Okay, his second Pokemon is Gyarados. Dang, my Zubat could have dealt with that Gyarados so well. Why does Fennel live in just an, like a uh, not very special building? <laughs> Miss it very easily. Wow, I can use infrared connections now. Okay, Gyarados, please don't use a flying type move. Oh, please turn happened. off Seager and place yourself as airplanes and hospitals. Or wireless. Whoa. Oh, my bottom screen is now lit up. Oh, that did not do very much damage at all. Right, it's an ice type attack, not an electric. Oh, it just got a bunch of damage on me with a crit. Uh, okay. Oh, I meant to give all my Pokemon Oran Berries before I came in here. Wow, I said no, I don't want you to explain anymore, and she's like, I'm sorry, I just have to, I'm too excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb, just don't make it a choice. <laughs> <laughs> the game creators were like, we'll give them an option, but they're really gonna want to know. Players really love 
the ability to choose. So <laughs> we'll throw in a meaningless choice here. <laughs> oh, they really just want to hit yes or no. <laughs> well, not if I do it. Okay, good. First gym down. Yay. Good job, Snap. Let's let's get a good TM. Ooh, magic room. I don't think that's very good. Alright, route three, here we go. Is this a, a daycare? What is this? I think it might be. Right. This is the daycare right away. Yep. Yay, I got the vag. And now I just need a TM, please. I would like spatial rend. <laughs> That would be cool. <laughs> Although, <laughs> does Spatial Rend... I think you have a cooldown turn, right? Mm, after, I'm not sure. After you use it. it kind of makes oh, sense. Oh, fire spin. Darn. Well. I guess it's fine. Alright. Gym 1 is down. Wow, I just avoided Blizzard twice in a row. Nice. That's pretty low accuracy outside of... Hail. I guess so. Alright, Fennel, what do you have? Did you already fight the Team Plasma? No. Fennel made me go talk to her right away. Oh, oh, right, right. But yeah, I'll have to go fight Team Plasma next. Yeah, Fennel's oh, a pretty boy, hard fight. That. Blossom is what Blossom says. Um, all right, old man. Hmm, what Pokemon do I give cut to? Kind of don't want to give it to any of my Pokemon. I gave it to my Absol, which I might regret. Yeah. But at least it makes sense. Looks like I could use cut. Right. Wants to um, undershot. Let's give cut to probably Mianxiao because physical attacker. My moves are so good. I guess I guess those are both special attacks. I like having a grass move. Yeah, I guess we'll forget energy ball. Darn. Oh well. What do your viewers like most in terms of commentary? <laughs> um, I don't know. I usually just talk about whatever I'm doing. But I know that you have a different philosophy. Um, right. No, yes. The, the key to... Um, commentary is to not talk about what's happening on the screen, but rather something completely different. Because then people... Well, what was that? Never mind. Oh, right, I can actually get an encounter. Wait, it, can you reach grass in the dream yard now? After you use cut? Yes. Okay, cool, so I can get an encounter here. Honestly. In a minute, yeah. You have to do the yeah, whole... Yeah, I, I have to fight Team Plasma first. All right, Team Plasma, just as long as you don't have any crazy legendary Pokemon. Used Leaf Blade. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Don't punch the mana. Oh, so I was thinking yesterday... Oh, it wants to learn Zen Headbutt. Yes, please. Ooh. That's a good move. Especially for a Psychic type. Yeah. Uh, we're going to forget Thief. I think that's a pretty easy decision. Um, but I was thinking yesterday, maybe some of your viewers will be familiar with this particular radio clip, but it was quite um, notor notorious during my childhood, our childhood. That's the, the millipedes of the basement. Um, what? <laughs> uh, I've got millipedes in my basement. There's somebody who... 
<laughs> I don't think anyone is going to be familiar with that. I, I think you're underestimating people. I think <laughs> anyone who listens to radio ever will be familiar with this classic clip. It is in the best of NPR <laughs> compilations. All the all those, yeah, those compilations of, that exist. Yeah. Ooh, my first double battle. Let's use Zen Headbutt on this jump fluff. But anyway, this person called in and they said, I've got millipedes or maybe it was setipedes in my basement. And you don't remember this? Uh, no, I'm familiar with, I didn't realize it was from a radio clip. Oh, yeah. It was like, I don't know, it was some like advice column sh like segment. Okay. And they were like, what do I do about the millipedes of my base lid? But anyway, so I was thinking, what if every basement in an American house had one millipede? Guaranteed one millipede, no more, no less. And every of these, every single one of these millipedes has a name and a personality that defines the rest of the house. Like your house is defined by the millipede that comes with it. What? <laughs> what is this? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, they, they, they could talk. What, what would you think about that? Like, what would you? How would you react to that? Yeah. You're just gonna use this series as an excuse to force me to answer questions like this. Well, do you want to deprive your <laughs> you viewers? Just, of... You just are like, what if what if a guy came up to you and he had a backpack on and and he said hee haw hee haw? What, what would you do? <laughs> or what if there was just a cardboard cutout outside of the front door when you when you open the door? It's just a cardboard cutout of a guy just standing there. What would you do? What would you think about? There that? There wasn't a guy just standing there. The cardboard cutout was of um. I forget exactly what it is, but it wasn't a human. No, it was not. It was some weird thing. Oh, it was a dog. Yes, it was a dog <laughs> saying. It was a dog saying yippee. Um, <laughs> here, here's my next question. This, this is a good segue into this. Have you ever had a dream where there's like a dog, like a probably usually a golden retriever, uh, or like a golden lab more so? It wasn't as I don't know, but a golden something. Um, but, you can't see me shaking my head, but I'm shaking my head. I'm sure you are, but that doesn't uh, discount my question, which is, <laughs> have you ever had a dream where a golden retriever in a tuxedo, you're like standing in a, you're standing in like a room, a very nice room. There's like couches, or not couches, but like chairs around, people are sitting in the chairs, and there's like a very, like lush like velvet carpet or whatever and um but standing across from you talking with some person it, it's all normal people but then there's a golden retriever standing on its legs um with, with the tuxedo on ever, ever, ever had that dream and maybe uh, sorry weird. i got really distracted i have not had that dream but but when you like, you don't think I just learned that something much. about yeah. about uh, the move soft boiled. You can use it to remove your own health to heal one of your party Pokemon's health. Um, like in yeah, Overworld, that's... I can like swap my HP for someone else's, which is super interesting. Okay, but uh, yeah, no. Some... To answer your question, no, I have not had a dream like that with that specific amount of detail. <laughs> Okay, well, as you might guess, I have. Um, uh, yeah, I, I figured from the detail. Um, but I didn't think of it that much. I didn't think about it too much when I was actually having the dream. When I woke up, I just knew it was a nightmare. Like, I knew it was scary somehow. Okay. So, yep. Great story. My encounter for the dream yard is a wingle. That sucks. Yep, it's pretty bad. All right, try to catch it. Maybe it's got a crazy ability or something. Oh wait, did I just plow through my encounter on this route while I was talking about? <laughs> oh no, this that's is Charon. So that's how you battle. Wow, well, Wingle. Let's 
Why are you running? Why are you running? Mm. Bianca, why are you running? Just gonna name it Nilla. It's Those boring. people stole this girl's Pokemon. Alright, what ability does this Wingle have? It better be something crazy. Oh god, it's awful. It's literally the worst Pokemon I've ever seen. It has white smoke, which prevents other Pokemon from lowering its stats. And its moves mm -hmm. are Double Slap, Bite, and Leech Life. <laughs> like, mm. ugh, it had nothing oh, crap. good. I thought that was a, um, I thought that was like a reg ice or something, but it's a goal lurk. Aw. Here's a wingle that has pressure. That would have even been better if it had had pressure. Still not much better because pressure is not a great ability, but I don't know. I guess white smoke isn't completely useless, but still not amused. All right, took down the Wingle. Can I just pick up this item, please? The Dragon Scale. That's not useful oh, right now. Oh, duh. Golurk is a ghost ground type? Uh, yeah. Kind of cool. That's kind of freaking cool. <laughs> you say so? I guess, uh, yeah, there aren't too many other ghost ground types. There's, um, Runarigus now. Sword and Shield. Battle this basket. Um, let's keep using Psy Strike. I'm gonna name him the Iron Giant. Alright, let's switch out. We don't want Lester to die. Oh gosh, that did a lot of damage to me, I just noticed. I guess I was kind of already low on health, but... Still gonna switch again. Okay. Back into Snap. Power. Confusion. Oh gosh, this Basculin was loaded with moves. Would have been decent. I'm not that excited about this Golurk, but I'll uh, take it. It's something. Just don't waste my Great Ball, please. Thank you. It all, all comes right. down to the ability and moves. Yeah, I wasn't super. I had Smackdown and. <laughs> Cosmic power for sure. Whoa, it's nine feet tall. It's kind of cool. Whoops, crap. What? That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was trying to maneuver to the uppercase thing, and then I went went too far to the left, which snapped me back over to OK, and then I just hit OK. <laughs> So, his name is Golurk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... It's, the rules it's are... Still count. It's still No, it still counts, because I went nope. into the, the give it a nickname. Nope. Rules are you can't use it if you didn't give it a nickname. That's... You're <laughs> just being spiteful. I'm no, that idiot. actually happened in the Nuzlocke with Zack and I. I forgot to nickname my Magikarp, and I had to go find the name raider before I got I to use it. <laughs> I didn't forget to use it. I... Yeah, uh, the, it, you, I think the name raider is actually pretty early on. So. All right, it's, it has vital spirit, prevents Pokemon from falling asleep, it has Fisher, Smackdown, Tail Glow, and Fisher. Cosmic Power. Dang, Fisher and Tail Glow are both really good. Tail Glow. Yeah. I think Tail Glow raises a bunch of stats. Like, it has a whole bunch of different effects. No, we are not turning on the sea gear right now. Mine's on. Something to look at on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Alright, go You guys have it on in airports or other places. Well, good thing we're not there. The viewers don't know that. <laughs> well. It's the only place we get good enough Wi-Fi. <laughs> 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 yeah, Pokemon wait no, randomizer. <laughs> Alright, Golurk, I was gonna name you first time poster, but Okay. Get it, because it's Lurk. Sure. 
Well, I'm thinking maybe we should call this episode here. That's um, fine. Unless you have something that you are trying to accomplish. Nope. All right. I, I just got the C gear, so I think that's probably a decent spot for me to leave off. Um, yeah. Th thanks for watching episode two. Things continued to happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we, we caught some Pokemon. We didn't... No Pokemon died this time. So that was nice. Well, Golurk died break. in spirit. Yeah, Golurk. Well, he'll, he'll come back later. Okay, thanks for watching episode two, and stay tuned for episode three, coming next week. <laughs>